Welcome back, y'all. I hope you just went and showed off your very first broom. Um, I'm really excited. Can't wait to see them. Please tag me on the social media things. Um, so next, we're gonna make this. This is a hawk's tail, which is basically a two-sided turkey wing is what's going on. So you'll get a chance to practice the same skills, except every half turn you're gonna add a bundle. So you'll start with your bigger center lead bundle, You'll wrap around three times, you'll add a bundle, half turn, add a bundle, and then go over the three of those three times. Add a bundle, add a bundle, go around. Add a bundle, add a bundle, go around. So it's the same setup, you get to practice the same skills, but you end up with it being in the center, so you're adding to both sides. So let's just jump into this one. I have room corn, I'm ready. So we'll start that off again. So you'll make a cross, you'll wrap your string around your foot break, so there I've got my 10 similar size bundles in a cross, and then I've got my two more bundles that I'm making a plus one that'll actually be the pile that I start with. <laughs> if you get a weird piece like this, you can tuck it in, not tuck it in, either way is fine. I'm going to leave that out. So this is my starting bundle here. So we're going to start this the same way. I'm going to go ahead and move this cross over to the table where I can grab pieces from. I'm going to make sure I have my jerk string nearby and this time something a little different. I'm going to show you a different handle technique and in order to do that you're going to need a small loop that's almost identical to your jerk string so make sure you have that on hand too. Alright y'all, same start. You'll tie a small knot in the line, you'll bury it around halfway, you'll very gently wind and other broom makers use this knotted start. This is just something that over the years, I, I've kind of arrived at doing it this way. Um, it's fast. I find if you give it a light start, it works great. Um, so here we have our three times around, and then I'm gonna add a bundle, turn halfway, and add another bundle. And this bundle in the front feels a little big to me, so I'm actually gonna take a little bit out of it. And I'm gonna go around all three of those tightly. And then this will automatically have a little bit of a stair step on one side. If you wanna exaggerate that, you can. If you wanna get rid of it, to some degree you can. Uh, it just involves pulling them tight. But for the sake of our first one, I'm going to go ahead and use it to our advantage and have it be visible on one side. So again, I'm adding a bundle on each side. I'm going around and I'm kind of making sure, I don't know if you just saw that move, that was me kind of sorting things out to make sure they're still where I want them to be. Add it, turn halfway. Make sure you're holding everything tight the whole time. So as you can see here, my pattern's starting to develop. I've got diagonals on one side with these coming off of the side, and then I've got flat stripes on the other side. So this is my last round. So I'm using my thumb, I'm climbing up, putting my bundle under, putting my second bundle under. And this time before I add my loop, my handle, I'm actually gonna tie this broom off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my jerk string underneath and I'm gonna make a solid band as if I'm completely tying this off because I am actually gonna completely tie off this broom. And then I'm gonna use my thumb to hold that string tight, trim this, loose line, put it through the eye here, switch thumb so that's held tight while I pull the line underneath. Great. And then now I'm going to show you how to add a handle with a different technique. So this is my handle here. It's going to be kind of a short handle. And then I'm going to take my broom and I want it to sit on the wall this way. So I'm going to take my broom, turn it sideways, 
split the broom corn in half. And those of you, some of you know I use a sawed off butcher knife to do this um, as kind of like a big cleaver when I do this on my own at my table. But for your first one, this will work great. Pull that down low into the broom. So I made sure to put the knot itself into the broom. So all that's visible of the handle is just the string. So there's no knot visible. And then I'm gonna essentially start another broom and just make a band above that. I'm gonna put a knot in the line here. I'm gonna tuck that in to my broom corn here. And because it's got a little more tension on it, you might have to kind of fish it into there. This time though, I'm gonna start my jerk string from the very beginning. So I like to put my, if I have two jerk strings in one broom, I like to make sure any overlap, any beginnings, any tails all happen in the same line. And they're all for me gonna happen perpendicular to where my handle comes out. I really like things to not cause there to be, like if these were all in the same line, there might be a little bit of a gap or it might show a little bit of bunching. So that's just a little, a little thing I like to do. So again, my jerk string is there. I'm wrapping towards the top of my broom, essentially making a solid band. Same finish as the last one. My thumb is keeping it tight. I'm using the scissors to cut the line, using that to stab through, switching my thumb and then pulling underneath. So now what I have is a hawk's tail with a handle. I can trim the bottom if I want to leave the top wild, I could. I just want to trim some of these really long ones. Might leave this one a little wilder. Wow. And in this case, I'll go ahead and cut my tails pretty close because I'm feeling pretty confident that those are tight. Again, you can burn those little parts with a lighter if you want to. So there's my finished hawk's tail broom.